My name is Matthew Sitvinik. My name is Natalie Savetic Jones. My name is Bobby Jennings. My name is Nina Goshinkfiao. I'm taking Drama, Drama 123, 123 with Ed, Ed Trujillo. Trujillo. It's intermediate acting. A DVC. You queer my word and call me out my name. I called you what you are, a big mouth liar and a fake. How do you know I'm a liar? How do you know I'm a fake? Maybe what first got me interested in theater, my mom said, Bobby, you're really funny. You should go into acting. And I said, do you think that should get me into acting? And she's like, sure. So I took it in middle school and then I decided not to take it in high school. And one of my classes got dropped, so I walked in and I saw some guys playing improv. And um, one of the guys walked up to me in the middle of the scene and incorporated me in the scene and I kind of went with it. And I've, I've never looked back from theater because theater is something that I fell in love with directly as soon as I hit the stage and did improv. Before I took drama, I was really shy and introverted and afraid to get up in front of other people. I decided to take beginning drama because I thought it would be a fun way to kind of push my comfort zone a little bit. When I was a little kid, I first got interested in drama because my parents always knew that I liked to sing and perform, but I was really shy. So one summer, uh, my dad needed daycare for me, so he put me in a musical theater performing arts summer camp. And ever since, it's been my passion. When I first started watching movies as a child, I always thought that, you know, to really catch someone's eye, you have to have a, a massive amount of skill. And that's what's inspired me to come here to DVC, try acting. When you miss a line, you have to say, why do I miss that line? Right? And why do you miss a line? It's either because you don't know what it means or you haven't planted it emotionally and physically. That's all it is. What I love and hate about the apartment. I really love the teachers. My teacher's great. Um, I actually got a chance to go to this play. You're in town and I had a great time. I really like how the teachers all know what they're talking about. I've been through several acting classes for like nine years and I've never felt someone so intense about acting. Sometimes you find yourself rehearsing lines and you notice you're going through questions or maybe scenes that you go through every day in life and you kind of sit down and you think, wow, you know, this person kind of responded to this type of question differently or this person handled this problem a certain way. Um, and when you're presented with those kind of questions in life, you have to kind of rehearse what you're normally doing. and bring something more, you know, so it kind of lets you bring more out of yourself and allows you to become more creative. I really think drama has helped me to learn how to live because, you know, drama is all about opening yourself up and, and putting it all out there on the table. Drama helps me get up in front of people and learn how to perform and really just be myself. I like being able to voice my opinion and drama really lets me do that. It's taught me to take risks and um, not be afraid of who I am, taught me how to express myself, and that's why I love it so much. I think that acting can really help anyone succeed uh, no matter what they're studying. Plus, it's a lot of fun. It's, if I had the chance to, I would be here 24-7, eating off this theater floor.